Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with uh, the delete uh, community and also I'm going to show the notification when we delete, when we create and when we edit the community. And then uh, show the flash message and keep push. Okay. Let's uh, go to the Inertia.js. If you go to Inertia.js, shared data here and we can see we have the flash message and we need to go inside the handler inertia request and add the flash message okay so let's copy this one and let's go to our vs code and open the handle inertia requests and here by default we have the auth is sharing the user so uh, if i come here and go to the inspect elements as you can see here we have app component welcome props errors and we have the auth prop which is user null okay request user but if i say auth user here and save refresh now you can see here auth is user which has the id 2 and name and so on so let's cut back and let's add the flash message so we added flash here and the message and this is going to come from the session get message so if i save this one and next what we need to do is to display that if we have flash message display in this uh, we need to add this uh, message inside of our uh, layout site layout so for that, I have prepared this Tilewind style here for the notification or for banner. So let's copy that and let's go inside our layout. So resources, views, oh sorry, JS layouts and authenticated view. And I, I'm going to display that. in here now if i save and let's go and see yeah here it is but i want to show this based on that uh, if we have a flash message so for that let's just copy this navigate here and say display this div if we have Dollar well, sign page props, props, flash message. So flash message, what we added here, flash dot message. So if I save this one and let's go back and refresh again. Now we no longer see that. And also let's display here instead of this hard coded, let's display the message. And also this we have here, how we can display that. So let's uh, just copy this and paste it here and the same in here. Save. Now how we can display that? Let's go inside of app controller, backend and community controller. When we store a new and return to the road index, let's say return with message. And the message is going to say uh, community created. 
successfully. Save it. Let's go and test now. Let's go here. Let's remove. Add a new community and if I refresh, just in case, let's say test, test, store. Okay, yeah. And now we have the community created successfully. Okay. Now let's also work with the delete community. So I'm going to add also this flash message in when we update. Okay, and here we need to say updated successfully. And now here we have the destroy method. Instead of this one, I'm going to say community. dollar sign community and let's delete that so dollar sign community delete and we need to return we need to return not to the road community index but return back with message Okay, save. So when we go to this road, destroy, we delete that community and return back because I'm going to display here the button and when we click, we delete this community, okay? So for that, let's open the index page inside the pages communities we have the index view we have a table and we have a link to edit let's copy this link and duplicate it and instead of uh, why we have that so let's remove again now Let's copy this link and duplicate it. I'm going to remove this span here. Okay, and the same here. And instead of edit, I'm going to say delete. Now we need to change also the text to be red 600. Okay, let's save it and yeah, we have something like this, but let's add also to this one. I'm going to add margin right three. And yeah, now it's more nice. When we click, we go to the edit, but instead of going to edit, we need to delete and instead of saying Link ref. I'm going to use this as a button. So if you go to the inertia JS and go to the links, you can see now we can use links also as a button. You can see here link ref and method is going to be post as button and type button. If I copy this and instead of say in met method post i'm going to say method delete so let's copy that come here and let's say down there method delete as a button type button hit save and instead of wrote communities edit we need to say communities destroy save it go to the browser refresh and we have the delete here if i click now you see we have community oh we need to change that 
because we have community updated successfully but as you can see we no longer have that last one and let's go and change inside the HTTP controllers backend community controller delete say community deleted successfully save it and refresh now let's create first one i'm going to say test test uh, description click store yeah community created successfully let's update this one test updated click update community updated successfully we have the update here and and as you can see here the slack is not updated because that package we have installed is not updating by default it's turning off so laravel sluggable and was uh, not from spati but this one and also you can use this spati package but uh, as you can see here we have this on update and by default is no now if you want you can change the on update option to true in the so let's go up here installation yeah now if i copy this command and let's go here open the terminal and paste that command in hit enter okay we have the config sluggable now and let's go and change that config sluggable and source max length and so on separator where is the updated on update let's change this to true hit save okay from here refresh and let's update again this one just then just to see we are going to update also the slug okay this updated again and as you can see now we updated the slug now if you like if you don't like go and change back to the defaults okay now let's uh, delete this so if i click here community deleted successfully and we no longer have that one okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and see you in the next one all the best